Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. How are y'all doing today? So I didn't really have a video to go up. Today is my youngest child's birthday. So I had a doctor's appointment. I did upload what happened in the doctor's office and the fact that I met my um, oldest son's new child that I didn't even know he had because he did, he wasn't even sure if it was his. But now we are sure, and it's six months later. So met that little one today, and I did upload that to the members only. Haven't decided if I'll put this over here for everyone or not yet. So today, what's happened? I realize I'm a little bit behind in getting information to you guys, but. I'm sure you, you all know about what's happening with the gas shortage, right? But this is why we stock up. Because we don't know what's going to happen when it's going to happen. I, too, need to stock up on gas. This is a reminder to me because we do rotate through our fuel that we do stock up um, when we're cutting grass or using the weed eater or whatever we're doing around the house. Um but it says, once behind Miami's gas shortage, and how long will it last? You won't like the answer. So I haven't even read this article. This article came out today. I will make sure I leave a link to it, but let's read it now. So I do have a video that I'll try to leave in here, and it shows people waiting in line at the gas pumps. A few people were actually, looked like they were arguing. I'm not sure if they were arguing about, you know, you cut me in line or whatever's going on or just frustration standing outside waiting because someone said that they had to wait for 40 minutes. So it says, South Florida is in day six of a fuel crisis. You aren't going to want to hear this. Maybe fueled by your own making. This is now a story of runaway panic buying that is just unsustainable. Why is it when something takes place and people decide we're going to go out and stockpile, they call it panic buying. But when the government knows something is happening, they start stockpiling things. No one says that they're panicking, but they want to put it. But I see where this article is going. They want to put it on us. So it says it's kind of like designing houses for a thousand year flood. These are extremely rare, and now it's kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, I lived through a thousand-year flood. Whether it's rare or not, they're happening more and more each year. And fuel was one of those things that disappeared because people needed to run their generator. They needed to do whatever. So fuel was gone. Water was gone. Bread was gone. This article is even comparing this situation with the shortage of fuel to the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack. If you don't know, in 2021, there was a cyber attack where they kind of shut things down, held it hostage until somebody paid money for them to start resending fuel through the pipeline and all through the South, we did not have fuel. And if it was there, people was price gouging. So they're comparing it to that, y'all. And then they're saying, and during Hurricane Harvey and Irma back in 2017, motorists are now straining the system to the point that it's going to be impossible for the system to work in the way it was designed. How is the system designed? If you're not bringing the trucks in to deliver the fuel, How's the system design? It sounds like a broken system. We all know when there are a series of severe weather, flooding even. So you know that people are going to stockpile those things because they know they're going to lose power most likely. They're gonna need that fuel to run their pumps and their generators, but they wanna blame it on the people and overreacting and panic buying. I'm so sick of this. So it says lines started forming by the weekend, a couple days after authorities said the Fort Lauderdale storm and resulting floods on April 12th disrupted operations at Port Everglades. So it sounds like to me, people are doing what they're supposed to do. Now, yeah, maybe they should have had a little bit 
ahead of time, but everybody don't have it like that. You get it when you can get it. What I'm thinking is this may not just be people panicking because that storm came in and knocked down some uh, plant or whatever. It could just be uh, people waking up to the fact that they do need to start stockpiling certain things. And maybe that's what they're doing, preparing ahead of time because after all they live in florida and there will be more storms right so it says by 11 a.m tuesday morning with additional petroleum companies opening overnight monday and tuesday the majority that handle gas eight out of 11 are now operating nearly a week gone by and tuesday still saw red tag bags at florida at south florida station or many simply closed Lines spilled onto the roads. So this Broward County facility is the hub for about 40% of the gasoline into Florida and serves 12 counties south of Lake, what's it, Okeechobee? How do you say that? Let me know in the comments. Not that I would understand what you're writing, but anyway, including Miami-Dade, Broward, and Keys, and Palm Beach County. So, someone was quoted as saying, this is truly an exceptional event sparked by delays at Port Everglades due to submerged pumps from the flooding that created just enough delay that it's been very difficult for trucks to pull product from Port Everglades. Panic buying, he says, is overwhelming a system that simply can't be designed to meet the demand when everyone's filling up multiple vehicles and multiple gas cans. It's become that type of situation. Fuel is flowing from other ports like Port Tampa. Trucks are coming down from Port Canaveral and with fuel. Obviously, when we're already amid a truck driver shortage, we're talking about hours that trucks have to be have to be driven down Interstate 75 and 95 to get fuel to that market. So he sounds really steamed, doesn't he? And he's right though, there is a truck driver shortage and that is not going to change anytime soon. Then he says, there's just no way that there's enough infrastructure and enough truck drivers to resupply Florida given the amount of pent up demand that is now hurting us. And on top of that, Florida is a vacation state. So not only do you have residents who live there all the time, but you have people coming in from out of town. They're fueling up campers and trucks, etc. So stop saying other people are causing the panic buying and the shortages. You're just short because of the flood. Stop trying to lie to people like they can't see it's almost like they think people cannot see what is happening in front of them. Y'all tell me, this paragraph right here is just insane. I'm actually glad I found this article because it'll be people read this and believe the foolishness that's within it. Um, not saying that the writer is the one, but he he's writing, he or she is writing down the quotes that someone else is saying. So this person also says that, there is not a shortage in the traditional sense. There is fuel and there's plenty of fuel across Florida. There is a kink in the hose. The problem is, the problem now is that there's not the capability to supply Florida with two to 300% of its needs, which is now required because of the panic buying. <laughs> So this is a problem that will sort itself out. So we shall see you guys. Y'all keep me abreast of this in the comments because I probably won't report on it. But this goes to show you just how they will twist a reality and make it what they want it to be, what they want you to believe it is. And because it's written and you find it online, people will believe it. Guys, we got to start looking at more than one story. Don't just take something one person say. Don't even just take something I say. But if the masses are saying it and you can see it with your own two eyes, then you know that this is happening. Don't let them lie to you about what is happening. There is a shortage going on. It doesn't matter why there is a shortage. There is one happening. You cannot blame it on the people all the time.
hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video because I got animals to go take care of, okay?